Hey guys, J.O. here from Barley Hops and Tabletops. Today we're going to take a look at Project Elite again and that dreaded alien symbol. What we really want to know is how many times do we roll it in a round? Analyzing the data, we can see that on average 7.2 aliens rolled per round per player. So this is really useful information because this can help you determine if any aliens are threatening to get into the base. This can give you a good idea of how many aliens you can get within range um, of your weapons. And this can give you a really good idea of what aliens you need to kill and which ones you don't need to worry about and can maybe focus more on objectives. So next I wanted to see what was the impact that the alien symbol had on characters whose abilities were affected by it. So first up here we have Ronan, who has an amazing top ability. Uh, any symbol gives him a ton of flexibility, but his bottom of having to move two aliens for every alien he rolls is a huge negative. So that takes that number from 7.2 and changes it to 14.4 aliens moved per round. There's been a couple games we've played with him where he's actually lost us the game. Next up we got Jake, who has a unique patrol ability. So whenever you roll two alien symbols, you don't have to move them and you can suffer a damage instead. It's a neat ability, and I had to use the binomial distribution on this to figure out how many times this would happen around. It's roughly 1.5 times around. So that translates into two to four alien moves that you're saving each round. Uh, situational ability also prevents kind of burst movement, where you have to move two aliens and might end up cut, taking damage or uh, losing the game. So overall, pretty neat, cool ability. Uh, definitely has some uses. All right, up next we got Keeley. He has the Ripper ability, which is totally a either meme ability or something that only advanced players are really good at. But what you really want to try to do here is move as many aliens as you can into that line of sight with that two movement that you rolled. Uh, the more you can roll, the better chances you have of making this ability effective. I made an assumption of using about three aliens um, on average, and that turns out being that you're going to get somewhere between one and two extra damage around based on this ability. It's a fun ability in practice, probably going to play more into the meme game, and overall not be as useful as it originally sounded. Alright, save the best for last. Last up we got Kara. She has suppressive fire, which effectively eliminates six different alien moves. This is by far the best ability that we've seen out of all these characters. Uh, your average moves per alien drops to 1.2 around from 7.2, and it also gives you a lot of advanced play where you could maybe use a couple aliens, bring them in closer into range, shoot them, and then start burning these off at the end. You gotta be careful because you wanna use all of them to maximize your efficiency. But yeah, Kara rocks. Alright guys, hope you learned a lot in Alien Movement 101. Smash that subscribe button for me if you liked it. Until next time, peace.